Victory over King Stephen at Lincoln gave Matilda the upper hand in her fight for the English crown. But in the years that followed, fragile loyalties shifted, and under threat of capture, Matilda was forced to retreat. As her holdings in England came under attack from the king's army, it fell to her son Henry to keep Matilda's claim to the throne alive. Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 4 with me, Artigra Omega. It's time for the Siege of Wallingford. Eleven fifty three. Inside the strong stone walls of the castle at Wallingford, Matilda's men held firm against a brutal siege by forces loyal to King Stephen. King Stephen's army had constructed a fortified perimeter outside the castle, trapping Matilda's men inside. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son Henry. Her forces needed to hold the walls until they arrived. Just defend. That's all I have to do. I can do that. Right, only one thing I need for defense. Wait. Crossbows can't fire over walls. Wait. Crossbows can go on walls. What a mixed series of emotions I'm going through right now. Okay, anyone else? Right, here's the plan. We're just going to utilize our teleportation up and down walls in order to make sure we're always on the top of whatever side we're needed. I'm going to get some crossbowmen to join the party. If all else fails, I got these guys. Their job is not as important as everyone else's, it seems. But they're here in spirit. These are my two repairers. So how do I actually climb the walls? If I just click this, what happens? We walk through it. Line formation, wedge formation, stand ground, staggered. Can I garrison the wall? No. What if I click on top of the wall like this? Okay, that does it. Curses, they're spreading out. That shouldn't be allowed. to claim Wallingford, King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. I don't like the look of this. Alright, Bowman, focus on everything non-siege. I want you to focus on that which can bleed. Men at arms, burn that damn siege ram down. If you're not going to defend it in the slightest, this isn't as threatening as you think it is. But I suppose we can repair the wall. Maybe if I can click on it. There we go. It's funny, you play a game like this and you get the feeling that walls are ridiculously overpowered. And then you remember that it's based on reality. And that is the reality of the situation. Why do my men keep dying? I lost a lot of... My men at arms, I don't know why. Were they stabbing me from within the battering ram? This isn't good. The horsemen are going to have to burn it down next time. Alright, well, I guess I need to start replacing these. There's an unexpected problem. Maybe I'll pop out and give him a cheeky arrow in the back. Alright, lads. Alright, oh, that was fun. I had a good time, even if you didn't. I want to watch my health bar, see what happens here. Hey, no one's taking any damage. I must have just missed what was attacking me. Maybe some ranged units were shooting at me and I didn't notice. Not sure. 
Okay, wall repairers, you're really not needed. Where is my gold? Go harvest that. The great gold deposits of Wallingford. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford, King Stephen's forces launched another attack. Well, this doesn't seem fair. Archers aren't going to be the best against this, are they? Don't worry, I know how to block pathing. Spread out, men. That's it, get in this way. Well, that's actually working. That's unbelievable. Look at that surround. What, what if I just step off the wall? Ha-ha! I can't believe that surround worked as well as it did, by the way. All horses, you have more burning duties. You lot too. I want to get back up on top of the wall. That's it. We'll shoot over this little ridge. The spearmen that are on the wall can't... Oh, they can! What is this badness? Who let them use our ladders? Did they? I mean, yes. Good for us. Commentator can see into the future, clearly. I believe in this keep. It's keeping me alive. I didn't mean to do that. That was, that was a pretty nice combination of the word keep there. Can you watch stop climbing my walls? It's very impolite. Man, we're all piss weak, aren't we? Ooh. You know what? Before we engage again, how about we just take some time to think about what we've done here? So we... Did that happen? Wait, what's the castle? Is this the castle? Because it's not a castle. It's a keep. Matilda called upon all of the nearby farmers to start repairing the keep. And although they shouldn't have any knowledge on how to do this, somehow, they were all consummate professionals when it came to keep repairs. And then they all died. Okay, okay, okay. Not not the best. Can I just load rather than restart? No, let's just restart. Back in a minute. Alright, let's try this again. So as far as I can tell, the trick here is to not lose your entire detachment of men-at-arms for no reason. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son, Henry. Her forces needed to hold the wall. You do need to actually do something with your life. In fact, why don't you build me another archery range? That way we can crank out extra. Archery range needs to start with the upgrade. Needs more gold. We'll wait for it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have group two be the twisted fire starters. Group 1, going to be the archers. Start with the auto important upgrades. I wonder how much my stats improved. Let's take a look here. I don't actually know this. So I go from 85 health with an attack of 8. Plus 1 versus spearmen. And then attack speed of 1.5. So I don't think that's going to change, but I'm looking at the 
I'd like to primarily build archers, considering I am behind a wall. One would expect that to be somewhat serviceable. Can put long women from here as well. Probably should. Hoping to claim Wallingford. King Stephen's siege forces launched a So instead of 85 8, we're now 110. Same attack speed, same armor, an extra one bonus damage against spearmen, two damage against everything, and an extra 15 hit points. Nice upgrade. Okay, I see what was killing all of my men at arms. It was all of these crossbowmen. So what I should do is I should crack this open and then run away. Because crossbowmen can't, as I said before, they can't shoot over the walls like archers can. Archers shoot with a nice arc, but crossbows have to go straight. Walls obstruct the ability for one to go straight. So now they're just going to sit there until they die. Which works for me. Don't, why are you out there? I lost half of my men to that. They desire death. It's so hard to teach them otherwise. You know what, I'll just have anything. Anything you've got. Alright, burn it. And... Run away. Congratulations, you're now control group 5. A number I've never used before in my life. It frightens me when we get up to numbers above 4. Oh, the keep can build anything as well. I forgot about that. Ooh. wonder if you could put springles up on the wall. How would you carry them up the ladders, though? That doesn't seem right. Okay, I'm going to assume you can't do that, because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford. All right, back to work, men. That's the one I want to be cheeky towards. Oh no, it's this one. I despise this one. Alright, hopefully my men at arms will keep them busy long enough for my archers to destroy everything. In the meantime, I'm actually going to redirect some people over to burn this down. Control group 5. It's repair time. I am again not handling this very well, I'll be honest. But the numbers of units are just surprisingly catching me off guard. And now I don't have any food either. I haven't been using my campfires. Building one on top of the wall in the middle of a siege seems kind of odd, but it is for the best. Taking my food workers away from their duties is probably a bad move. When I inevitably fail again, I should reconsider. Next time, perhaps, try moving the woodworkers. Do you not all just return to work when I do that? What about if I click a field? There we go, good chaps. You can't attack from there, that's not where you attacked from last time. Okay, okay, we're gonna need to actually have a plan for this. Because this is getting disastrous. One moment. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This time, we're gonna build more villages so we got more income. 
It's a new and exciting plan. No, I always do this. It's a terrible first play. Right, fine. You guys are done. Good. You, control group four. I'm going to set people on the gold. Go. I don't need stone. Get over there. What I actually need is more people. I'm not going to build any crossbows either. I'm just going to build nothing but longbowmen, I think. You, on the gold. Actually, I want more food. Maybe some more farms. In fact, I want a lot more food. More farms. Yeah, get that upgrade going. It's most important. Utilize the keep more. Okay, the burners. I'd like to get this upgrade as well. That makes my ranged attacks more powerful. I just noticed there's a timer up here. Shows how long I have to last. to claim Wallingford. King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. Okay, I will need more wood. If we get inside the keep, can we reach? We can. Okay, that's good. Look at this. Look at this bombardment. Want everyone on stand ground. I'm just gonna send out the horses. Endure it, men. Burn that thing down. I deserve that achievement. I don't know what I've done differently this time. That makes the game think I need rewarding, but I agree wholeheartedly. Alright, hold your ground. A good supply of wood coming in. Got my upgrade that I want. Need more archers. If I'm only going to build archers, I don't need any more gold. What I need is food and wood. I don't want that. I think I'll build horsemen for burning. They're nippy. So burn it down and run away. These are the tactics. This is what you train for. Two people with nothing to do. Ah, oh, yes. The leftover farmers. How is this looking? Could probably do with a repair. You. Just you. When you're finished, back to work. No free rides here. The mighty stone walls of Wallingford. King Stephen's forces launched another attack. I like the idea of trying to burn these towers before they get to me, but the truth of the matter is I can't do it because if one survives, then they'll all just use that one. You know what I mean? You'd have to burn both towers completely in order to counter this. Didn't build you guys just to sit around? In fact, why don't I rally everyone here? Why are you just walking through? 
All right, men, just keep farming. It's all right. This actually works out better for me because I can defeat them on the flat rather than on the wall. Good, they're running. That'll do me. Everyone fall back. We don't need to engage them. It's all right. We have this. This keep will kill them all if we just wait. Stop it. Stop it. V. Let's get some camps going. Someone sing Kumbaya. That gets us all feeling good. Look, we're not going to lose this fight. Okay? It's all right. Good heavens, I don't like the shape of this wall. Wait, do you mind? We're just trying to fix the wall. Okay, seems they don't want me fixing this wall. Alright, it's important. Repair that wall, everyone. Hold on, wall, we're coming. It's not gonna last. Matilda's men started rebuilding the walls. Matilda's forces repelled the attack and held the castle. No, did we? You keep saying this. I, no, I don't believe you. All right, Matilda's men are going to rebuild the wall on the floor. What, what do you got against this thing? Let's get the economy back on track. We're running out of food. Yeah, don't worry. We're looking absolutely fine over here. Rumours of our defeat have been greatly exaggerated. I suppose we should burn these down. Matilda's forces held firm against the attack, cutting down the enemy soldiers. Oh, okay. Knights, not a not a good target for my archers, but you know, doable. I'm gonna need some people on gold because there are upgrades I want to get. Because I suspect this mission is gonna go on a bit longer. Go on, then I get some of those. Oh, hello. It's alright, I don't care if I lose a few buildings. I can handle that. Alright, I know I said hold your ground, but there are limits. Is it free farm back in use? But Henry's troops were getting closer to Wallingford. One there. The combined numbers of the two armies could tip the scales in their favour. Numbers are the only way we're going to win this fight. It's not going to be through superior tactics. We've already made that perfectly clear. Okay, what do you got for me next? I don't like the look of this. Not sure why I went for the gold harvesting upgrade first of all. Seems the least impactful of every upgrade I could have gone for.
At last, Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner, the two armies were ready to engage Stephen's forces. Are we? I mean, yes, we are. Let's do it. Army one, army two. I suppose we're flanking him. On this flank. Would make the most sense to me. Maybe we'll sneak through the forest like they taught us. No, maybe we won't. Go team, go! This army is predominantly knights, it's a very strong army. How am I supposed to build my houses? There's no room. Apologies to anyone who has to live out there. Wait, you got a nice view of the forest. How's this fight going? We've just got nothing but archers left. To be fair, I started with nothing but archers. This is hardly surprising. I should probably be using my palings, shouldn't I? But I'm not. That's so rude, you wouldn't believe it. Alright, I need you guys over here, quick. There. Walk through my spike pit. I'm not convinced that's a real medieval strategy to just lay spikes whilst you're under attack. Yes, we can burn their tents later. Weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter. Okay, just the knights. Charge forwards. Get the rams. Everyone else just kill anything that moves. You guys, you've got more jobs to do. Just repair everything. Okay, we're all group one now. Camps for everyone. I suppose since I suddenly got so many knights, I should get them as some upgrades as well. There you go, chaps. I knew another attack would be coming. They just can't help themselves, can they? You guys are doing a great job. Well, you're doing a great job. I don't know about you who's just jogging on the spot. He's prepping himself for future battles. When he should be focused on the current battle. Kill those damn catapults before they kill us all. To be honest, I don't like the fact that my opponent has the high ground against me in my own castle. Is it bad that I let my villagers die and then I just replace them rather than trying to move them and save them? It's probably bad. From a gameplay point of view, it's probably bad, and from a ethics and morality point of view, it's even worse. Right, let's cut through them. That attack's been held, yes. Good work, men. More camps.
I want everyone shooting at different targets, otherwise we just end up overkilling everything. So a lot of wasted arrows, you see. We fire 50 arrows at one spearman, it's just a waste. I'd rather fire 10 arrows at five different spearmen. A little concerned about the number of losses we're taking here. A little concerned about this as well. Everyone who's capable will get inside. What's group one doing? Well, they're still burning everything. Looks like they've actually destroyed a couple of camps, so that's good. I'll leave you guys to it. going to take them a while, but they'll get there. Probably better if I brought them back and sent someone more capable out there to help, but that would require me clicking more than I currently am. I like what's happening to my horsemen when they come out, that's great. Losing the stables, we can live with that. Got to, to start building men at arms in order to provide torches. Then I just order you guys back. So I'll pick up the gold. I don't really want to lose that. If I can help it, hello. These two villages are the real heroes. The wall repairers. I'll just ignore that. If you repair it from this side, they probably can't reach you. That's a great rally. Okay, I'd like to thank you guys. If I just send you all over here, you can defeat those about five men on the walls. Even though they've got the high ground. That's how much faith I have in you right now. That's on fire, you don't need to attack it anymore. Not that it seems to do anything anyway, but... Keep the men at arms coming. How's the repairing squad doing? Oh, screw that, you got to repair this. Chase that deserter to the ends of the earth, hello. Why are you saving my game? I don't want you to do that. Saved games are frightening. I'm 
I'm flanking catapults with archers. These are not accurate tactics. The history buffs are going to have some problems with this. I just keep building them. Oh, no, you don't. No, oh, she's dead. I needed her. She was the crux of my plan. Stop getting in the way of the wall. That's it, quick. Emergency repairs. How are we doing over here? Oh, we're getting there. Okay. Food supplies aren't looking the best again. Gold is looking like I don't need it. Get on the farm, lads. In fact, before you do that, you rebuild my stables. Then get back on the farms. I don't know why people make such a big fuss about this whole defending a castle thing. It seems pretty textbook. Right, everyone on the walls. I'm just going to leave 15 people in here now. Seems prudent. Murder them. We have the warmth of campfires to protect us. What do you have? All the farms work in a capacity again. Got my new stables. Quite like to get some knights, I think. Running out of farming room, I'm farming in the streets. On the paved roads. Alright, everyone. Please push this last tower. I'm just praying the mission ends as soon as that tower falls, because if it doesn't, it's going to be problematic. It's never simple, is it? Back to the walls, men. Fire every now and again, though. It's for good measure. That's it, in keep range, that's where we want to be. We got anyone left alive who can actually burn those things down? No. Literally everyone who could do that is dead. Fantastic. I need incendiary arrows, that's what I need. That make my life so much easier. Alright, team repair. It's 
that a battering ram can't beat four people hammering the same spot repeatedly. When you stop changing your mind, commit. Why does this person keep getting their HP back? Whether well, you're stacked on top of one another. More camps. Sure, any kind of horse will do. That's damage. He's, stop with the attacks. Let me breathe. I don't want to get hit by catapults. That's very, very painful. Okay, that was a lot of damage, but we're alive, I guess, technically. Everyone get in the town hall. It's safe-ish. This is such a shambles. Let's try again. That's damage. Don't let anyone tell you it isn't. These seem to be the guards stationed for the tower. So hopefully once these are dead, they're dead forever. That's what we're hoping anyway. Return to work, everyone. Your duties are complete. Just going to build some more villagers because it's almost a guarantee that I lost a load of farm workers. Kill it. If you're wondering why don't I just send a couple of horses around to burn it, they've got quite a large force guarding it. I swear they're getting more troops with each attack. Though deploying spearmen onto the walls doesn't do very much if I don't have anyone on the walls myself. So it seems they're not tactical geniuses either. Maybe I really should think about getting that incendiary arrow upgrade. Where is it? Is it supposed to be in the arsenal? Alright men, you know where we're off. Not so many farms not in use. Also my wood choppers have to go miles for wood now. My wood supply is actually going to run out at some point. You're not doing. Just shoot. Why is the game saving? It's so ominous every time the game saves. Oh.
Seems a little unfair that they go for the weak wall. I mean, it seems smart. But I don't like the fact that they can make smart decisions. Sixteen men about to fall out of this thing. Wiggling the towers, menacingly. Okay. Back to it. The Springles are getting used to this. They're getting into position already. Why is there always another attack waiting for me? I'm going to need to flank here. Don't like the catapults. Wood is really becoming a problem. Why am I doing this? There's about two trees left. Would have been better off building it up here. That is quite the hit. Okay, these guys are finally getting it done. Need a new repair squad. It's going to fall. It's actually going to fall. Do I have a civilian here? No, he's dead. We built that wall pronto. Oh. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy. No, they didn't. No. I'm gonna die. Oh, I need keeps left, right, and center. Now I've got time to prepare. Nothing from this side, but there is stuff on the right. Okay. Probably handle this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to assume that most of these forces can handle themselves. That might be a, a mistake. That the only thing that really threatens me is 
the stuff that's coming straight towards the keep. I'm going to get all of my villagers ready to repair. In fact, you guys need to get back on wood. There's no way in hell I'm holding that. Okay, there's, there's one way I hold it, and that's if I destroy all of his battering rams, but... Even then, no chance. Wait, is it not over? Fantastic! Time to very slowly pick units off. That's it, get in there, men. I still can't see me defeating this wave, I'll be honest. Even with this unexpected reprieve. Hey. Hello, men. Two groups of archers versus the entire army. And we're being chased up the walls. Not sure we're going to do it. How are we going over here? Honestly, it's not the worst. I expected it to go worse than this. Okay, can the groups team up. It's not happening, is it? I mean, it's fun to dream, but all dreams are broken by the harshness of reality at some point. Okay, defeat. But I won't be giving up. Okay, this time, we're better prepared. We know what's coming for us. I'm more focused. i got a good feeling about this one. King Stephen's army had constructed a fortified perimeter outside the castle. I need gold, I need food, I need everything. Except stone. However, reinforcements were on the way. From Matilda's son... Alright, four. Also four, because this can make villagers two. I didn't realise for the longest time. First thing we're going to upgrade is our armour to veteran status. Well, not our armour, our bowmen in general. It actually doesn't improve the armour, despite looking like a suit of armour. Okay, all archers are on control group 1. All non-archers are on control group 2. Now for the odd part of the plan. Wait, did I not also put you on four? I didn't. Curses. I want food, and I want a lot of it. Hoping to claim Wallingford, King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. Wait, 
burn that down, then retreat. Let's get a full army inside the keep. Let's stop suiciding with our units. Let's get that damage upgrade. And let's get some more farms. See, eventually you get so many archers that you don't even need the flaming torches to burn these things down anymore. Eventually that time will come. It takes a while to get there. You repair the gate, and then back. Just start building farms as near as you can. I want more farms, I'm not done yet. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford, King Stephen's forces launched another attack. Not this damn attack. As I said before, you can't really stop it, even if you do destroy one of the um, siege towers. It'll still come. I'll just walk through the other tower. So we just have to accept some losses here, I think. It's inevitable, we will eventually win this fight. Especially if we use this ability. Just gotta wait it out. Okay, group two, you can't burn that down though. Matilda's forces repelled the attack and held the castle. Sure, it's pretty cheap. more lumbras. Gonna pre-build this because I know I'm gonna need it in the future. Any upgrades here? Nope. I'm not gonna get the gold upgrade because I really don't need that one. That's gonna die, don't care. Just gonna rebuild it. That's irritating. That's better. Yeah, feel free to actually start building. Go on. Go on, it's not going to hurt you.
Seriously, what's the problem with this wall? Happy? If they never build this wall, I'm probably gonna die. I'll be honest here. Okay, now we need another archery range, I think. So we can build the archers at a faster rate. Who's doing nothing? You. Built on walls. Someone, which is going to be you, needs to build me some more houses. For future proofing. You as well. Another couple of lumberers. Don't need that upgrade. Apparently I'm getting killed over here. Haha, the old siege towers are in their way. It's not part of the plan. But it's nice nonetheless. Is that a villager in there? It was. It seems when I had men at arms to tank damage for me, it was a better setup. So maybe we'll do that. These archers will eventually die. These ones won't. But... Don't know how well he's going to do, he's just one man. An unupgraded man at that. At last, Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner, the two armies were ready to engage Stephen's forces. Mm -hmm. You make the same mistake of saying that every time. We're not as ready as you think we are. assume they've got that there. Now we're talking. That's what we were missing all this time. I'm gonna repair that wall. So it's repair from above. Is that more efficient somehow? Matilda's forces held firm against the attack, cutting down the enemy soldiers. Tell you what, this squad can just go around and deal with the outposts. Right now. That'll save me some time. And irritation.
I like these guys. They're so hard working. Henry and Matilda's forces struck out at the besieging army, weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter. I love the fact that my knights are just busy killing a tent. Meanwhile, their allies are just dying left, right and centre. Okay, if you guys want to go on the wall, I suppose that's alright. I didn't order it, but I'll allow it. We're going to need to repair our damn site faster than that. It's okay, they're happy with the job they've done. They're running off. Good, good. Keep the sacking going. Surprises me that the catapult would rather try and enter through the door than anything else. But I am grateful. Oh, group one has not done well. But I'm hoping the catapult will make the difference this time. Using catapults against my own walls. It's a strange position. These men know how to take a rock to the face, let me tell you. Nope, not the tree. Is this a better situation than last time? I'm not convinced. Okay. We need any and everything we can make. We don't care what it is. I just need lots of it. Where's the next attack coming from? Stop cheering, men. This is nothing to be happy about.
And the gold will run out. That's a given. So don't rely too much on the gold units. Please don't waste your time attacking that. There you go, now you got the hang of it. I have faith in these three horses. You know they actually might do this. Heroes, remember these brave men. And he lives to tell the tale. Just. We're just starting to become an issue. This one horseman still fulfilling his duty, outperforming everyone else. Oh, this can't be good. Okay, we're going to need a marketplace. I probably already have one, on reflection. I did. Never mind. But we need a marketplace so that we can sell our food for gold. And pretty soon, we're also going to need to start selling food for wood. We're going to be a powerhouse farming unit. Good man. He's still serving his nation, his queen. Wait, his empress. These horsemen are doing so much better than I ever thought they could. They're eliminating the siege threats by themselves. You've earned yourself a few brothers in arms. I'm genuinely sad. Please don't let that catapult shoot on you. If only you were horsemen, you could catch up. Do it, man. The horseman will show you how it's done. I'm waiting till max population, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm not moving out yet. We're going to go with one massive attack. With all the catapults we can muster for defense.
Okay, I'm going to assume that force can defend. So this little squad is going on a sortie. I just sold wood. I meant to buy wood. That was a big waste. That's not what I told you to do. Don't disobey me now. Okay, good start, man. Looks like defense is back on the table. I'm not convinced this wall is going to last much longer. No saying that. It seems to be doing just fine. Alright, group one's going back out. It's an ambitious place to set up a catapult. You guys, I need a mill. And eight farms. No, ten farms. Perfect. Make it happen. Okay, that's done. I don't need to finish it, I just need to leave it burning. Yeah, stuff that. Now, uh, maybe these can all go in group one. The enemy line wavered as Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army, clearing another section of the blockade. She did it very slow though, didn't she? I can't click on the catapult. But it's not deploying, so we're alright. That's my kind of victory, I can work with that one. Nine people with nothing to do? Oh, good lord, I'm running out of trees. I'm gonna start chopping down the decor. No clouds. Very brave of you. Fortunately, bravery does sometimes go unrewarded. That's too many units. We're gonna run.
There's now an acceptable number of units. We're going to turn and fight. Buying archers was becoming very long-winded. No, no, I didn't tell you to go on the wall. I told you to... Oh, God. Take your eye off the army for five seconds and look what happens. Please don't kill these. They cost a lot of wood. I'm sad. my number two hit squad. Maybe they can help me burn some stuff down. Maybe not, there's too much defense. Okay, group one now has a bunch of men at arms mixed in to bring the fire. And now they're going to retreat because there's an attack coming and they don't want any part of that. Maybe if we sneak around like this. I mean, if you're just going to offer them to me, then who am I to say no? Is that 100 gold I spy? Saving game, because I picked up 100 gold. I'm just going to assume the castle can look after itself. I'm be honest, I'm not sure this force even wins this fight. How did I do this last time? Okay, I've got an idea how I did it last time. You're an ambitious chap. It's just so difficult to actually get through. I think the defense at the end is going to be better because of the mangonels. No guarantee it's just going to be easy, mind you, which would be better. As soon as if I never move, the camps stay forever. So for defensive reasons, I can just do this. And now if no one moves, we can enjoy the benefits forever.
Seems rather rude of you to try and do this with catapults. I brought some back up. The backup's had enough. This is my problem, I never get a chance to really attack. Because the next attack is always just a few seconds away. Oh, they backed off? I might as well just smash this fence down a bit. I found the shortcut for selling food for gold. That's gonna help. Fortunately, I can't use the shortcut for buying these longbowmen because the keep is interfering with the archery range. So the hockeys are not quite the same. It's difficult to explain, but it's an unfortunate consequence of having two different buildings that let me train the same unit. It's odd as well, because if I just had the archery range and the council hall, then it works. I guess because they're both on queue here, and in the keep they're on unselectable spot. Maybe because the keep has this upgrade area, it throws things off. Not sure. We reached population cap. We did it. And that's on fire. Let's get out of here. Good work, Team 2. Okay, we start by picking off this small detachment. Aha! What if I make my walls even thicker? Like so. Does this help? Welcome, you're joining group two. Should be very proud. Honestly, start 
chopping wood out there. Alright, group two. By the way, this video has become so long and I was not prepared for this. I'm gonna try incendiary. Should work, right? It's made of wood. We attack ground at the fog at where we know it is. Not really, but kind of. These extra walls might be helping my opponent. More than they helped me. I feel like the standard fire was better. I don't know, we've got a kind of meat shredder going on here. It's rather satisfying. Not sure what their plan is exactly. Oh, they're running down the broken wall. How cute. So they use the siege tower to get onto the broken wall and then they climb down it. For no apparent reason. They're an odd bunch. As soon as I kill my catapult, I wonder if I can just cheap shot it from over here. Not quite. We'll get some damage, but we're not going to kill it. This hasn't gone so well. Stop saving in the game, game. I know you're doing it every 10 minutes, I figured that out now, but... I don't like it. This is the slowest anyone has ever destroyed a tower. I'm going to need a manganel for this. It's just going to take all day. Why is everyone so keen to move forwards? Not oh, whatever. Attack ground, hope for the best. That's the strat. They're not happy with me. Can't help but feel the way I'm doing this is suboptimal. Nah, I'm probably just imagining things. Okay, it's burning. One more for good measure. Ah, 
And let's prepare for this final attack. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the castle's perimeter. Okay, final attack wave. This time we have catapults. It's gotta help. There's no way it doesn't help. So it seems that everything that's still alive just charges forwards at this point. So not killing the things around the outpost is actually harming me a little bit here. Good lord, there's so many units. Now is not the time to be attacking the siege towers, I assure you. That time has passed. Okay, never mind, just keep doing this. If you've got something that you love, who am I to tell you to stop doing it? You guys are very keen, which I do appreciate, but it's not quite what we're looking for. And see how much progress I'm getting in the defeating the final attack wave. Here it comes. They were waiting for this one ram to be built. Nope. Just stand your ground and shoot. Okay, shoot at them. Why do I need to tell you to do this? You guys have nothing to do. Get over here. Okay, Manganaus was definitely the answer. They are ripping the horsemen to shreds. Well, they made their way in, so things are about to get a little interesting. I just have so many archers, though. And look at my production queue. As soon as anyone dies, this. Ten men ready to replace. We've got people who aren't even in the fight. Just relaxing back here. Yeah, see what an easy mission this was in the end. You believe that, you'll believe anything. Also improving their worth once again. Assuming he wins, he might lose. Oh, one man, nice. Oh, that level was not easy. A hard-earned victory, a well-deserved celebration. How do people even fit in these towers? Look at the size of the towers compared to the people. The towers are only about 10 foot tall. How do I get five people in there? And they all get into the upper parapets and shoot out the arrow slits. Something ain't right here. Whew. Long one. But hey, that's going to happen from time to time. Next time we continue with Age of Empires 4, the Norman campaign. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall. I'll see you then.